Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna take some rug off of a staircase and we're gonna refinish the stairs. It's gonna take a little while, so first part is gonna be ripping all the rug out and pulling all the little staples and nails or whatever's holding that rug in. And we'll see what we got underneath and uh, what it's gonna entail. Hopefully, nothing is cracked or anything major that I'm gonna have to repair. Let's see where we're at. I'll show you uh, what it looks like rugged and then I'll start taking it off. All right, so there you go. That's the staircase that we're going to remove. It's part of my living room. As you saw my other videos, I started doing the border removal in here as well. And the molding. And I'm up to that point right over there. With the trees in the way still. So, we're going to hit the stairs. Alright, start ripping it off. Alright guys, so for this little project, uh, I'm going to use some gloves. Because of the staples. I don't want to get cut in my hand as I rip the rug out. I'm thinking needle nose, right? Maybe some snips and a hammer perhaps. I'm not sure if I'll need that. Alright, so we'll start ripping it off. Okay, I already had started to pull one off just to see how hard it was before I started the video. So, there's the wood underneath. You can see, see how this goes. This rug was professionally installed a long time ago, so I'm sure there's a lot of staples in it. There's got to be a break in here somewhere. So as you can see, there was a break in the rug. It's about halfway up, so I'm gonna finish cleaning off these first few steps. There's some cushion here that's gonna have to come off. We'll do that as well, and we'll see what it looks like. Throw this outside and roll it up. All right, that's halfway without the staples and whatever those tacks are removed. I think I'm just gonna keep going and then start removing all the stuff all at once. All right, now we'll hit the top half. Another section. There's a lot of tacks in here. Couple stairs left. One more. All right, guys, so for the most part, I cleaned up everything. Stairs are uncovered. Actually went a lot faster than I thought, and the stairs look a little bit better than I thought, so that's a good thing. Now I'm gonna start at the top and work my way down and take out all those staples. All right, I'm sure you guys will be seeing this on fast motion, because it's gonna take a bit. Ready. That was almost 20 minutes and I got done uh, three steps. Keep going. That's another 10 minutes, so just under a half an hour so far. Maybe halfway. All right guys, all the staples are out of the stairs. It took a while, I know the camera shut itself off. I was so into it, I didn't even realize it, so. It was definitely about 45 minutes to an hour to get them off. So, that's what it looks like finished. All right, so I just laid some of those stair threads down to see what it's gonna look like. Not bad, once I Sand it all down. We're gonna use briar smoke, so it's gonna be a darker color. Match the floor. It'll match, it'll kind of match the floor and the uh, kitchen counter. Hmm. And then maybe we'll paint the sides again. Yeah, we have to do that White. before we do it. Yeah. I love it already. It's gonna look good. And the banister, don't forget guys, the banister. All right guys, so I'm done with the stairs for today. Went pretty good so far, but I'm gonna take an espresso break and I figured I would just show you guys sneak peek of my little coffee bar uh, where I do my espresso every day. There it is. I got a little Nespresso machine. Alright, 
espresso break. See you guys next time. Hey guys, welcome back to day two of the project. Staircase will be sanded today. Uh, depends on how it goes, I'll probably get uh, painting as well. I'm gonna do white on the sides like it is now and white on the fronts, on the kick panels in the front. I'm gonna make those white as well and then the tops will be that briar smoke color. I'm gonna use this Makita little palm sander. We'll see how that goes. Um, small palm sander. I just gotta cut up some sandpaper for it. Has its own little catch for the dust. I'm sure there'll be a lot of dust, but DIY mom is gonna have to clean up the dust. You know what I mean? Gotta have a helper. All right, I'm gonna set up and we'll start sanding. Okay, so for this project, we're gonna use the shop vac. If you guys saw on what's in my garage. I also I just put a brand new filter in there, so it should get some good suction out of it. I have a old container full of sandpaper, so I got plenty of different kinds of sandpaper. That I got to cut up for that palm sander and I also have a belt sander uh, This belt sander is good for some heavy stuff I, I might try it, but they can't really get into the corners with that where I think the palm sander will and Also, I don't think we have to sand that much because the stain is going to be darker than it is now with the briar smoke That's going to match the kitchen. So it may not be that bad What I do have to make sure I blend in is where the old I guess rug pieces used to be or whatever those little step panels were that were on the old wood left marks as you can see so when I sand I gotta make sure I definitely get rid of that even though we are putting our own on there which I think overlap that I just don't want to be able to see it later after I stain because then it's kind of too late to fix and I guess we're gonna end up staining this railing the same color so it matches which I know you guys voted on uh, getting that darker anyway you guys went against me okay and I'm going to start off with 100 grit sandpaper and I'm going to cut it to fit on here and we'll try sanding down. Okay, and this sander happens to have a little puncture thing so that the, the dust goes through the paper and into this little bag. So there it is. Hit that like that. And you get your holes. Hopefully some of this dust will get in this little bag, which is actually full right now. I'm gonna have to empty this little bag out. Is this garbage? Okay. And I'll head up to the top, work my way down. That's a lot of dust, so. Yeah. I'm gonna put on this mask that I originally bought for COVID. For the dust. Knew this mask would come in handy one day, besides for use in, to go shopping. Alright, 100 grit's gonna take forever, so I'm gonna see if I got something a little bit more aggressive. And, uh, I'll try it again. Alright, I happen to have some 60 grit. So, we'll try that. I was hoping it's not gonna be too rough. If it is, I'll rough it with that and then go back over it with the 100. Alright, the 60 grit seems to be a little bit better, so I'm going to go with that. It actually looks pretty smooth with that little uh, sander. So, we'll keep going down. Okay, that's four down. I'll show you what it looks like up close so far. Now remember, these fronts are going to get painted, and the tops are going to get the darker stain, so. But that's before, you see the line, and that's after. The sandpaper actually loses its cutting power after about one to one and a half steps. You can tell it doesn't want to cut, so I got to keep changing it more often. Okay, so instead of that little orbital sander, I'm going to try this belt sander. I know I can't get all the way into the edges of it, but hopefully it'll make quick work of the center of it, and then I'll just use the smaller one for around the edges. I think it'll be a lot faster that way, so... Okay, that belt sand is definitely way faster. I'm going to do all the centers really fast, and then I'll hit the edges. Works, but 
clogging up very quickly. Yeah, it's clogged right up. As you can see, not sure what that is on there, probably old stain or whatever. It's clogging up the belts really, really fast. So, same thing I was doing with the other one. Once that happens, it doesn't want to cut no more. I don't have any new ones, so I'm going to try to use these old ones that aren't really clogged, but are a little bit old. Let's see. Yeah, I need new ones. I might have to stop and go get some new pads, because it'll take forever. It was going so fast with the new pad. And I found one more belt, and I really only got two steps left in the center that I can go back to the small orbital sander. So hopefully this will do it. If you can see how fast this is, but I'll give you an idea. Okay, now I'll just do the sides and the uh, fronts with the smaller one. But you can see that made for quick work of the middle, but it can't reach the edges. Not bad though. Saved a lot of time. Right, I'm going to go back to this now. Alright, so I've taken a piece of uh, belt sandpaper because it's very, very strong. It has a sharp edge, so I'm trying to get as close to the edge of the steps by the paint as I can. So I'll have to put some wood filler in here. And then I'll just sand this right now. And we'll make it... Just flat with no wall. I think we added this back in the day a long time ago, but you can see okay. it's always dirty. So we'll we'll fill it in, paint it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Leave it flat with no wall. Better. Well, now we'll look with a fresh bowl with briarwood on it. Fire smoke. Different color. I don't know, yeah. some people do like the trim in the dark and then they'll leave the splats white, but I don't know how it looks. That's what I got so far. I'm actually out of sandpaper, but it's still a little dark on the edges on some of them. I just don't know if the briar smoke's going to cover it or not. I think so too. I think the bright smoke's dark enough where it's not gonna. Yeah. Hopefully, you're not gonna see it. Are you gonna stain first or paint? Otherwise, I gotta go back out and buy more sandpaper. Why don't you just try one on the bottom? I can test the bright smoke. Test it. All right. So it looks like these carpeted threads, treads, whatever you want to call them, the carpeted treads will cover most of the step. So even if you can see that line, which I don't think you will because the stain is dark. This is going to make it look much better anyway. Like that. So I think it's going to look good. And now I'm going to stain first, then polyurethane, and then paint. Alright, I'm going to start at the top with the stain. Got gloves on, rags to wipe it on, a rag to wipe it off. Got the briar smoke. Got a hammer and a nail set. Just in case there's some nails sticking out that I want to push in. I'll push those in before I stain. And I got a thing of some white cork, which I'm going to fill in underneath each step. I see a few of them that have a little bit of an open seam. that kind of makes it squeak on a step. So you want to put a little bead before I paint it white. That way you don't see that little crack and it will keep it quiet. So as I go down the steps, that's what I'm going to do. If you need anything up there before I put Actually, before I get going here, I'm going to take some uh, change of clothes because I might not be able to get up those steps, and that's where my bedroom is. So I'm going to get what I need now before I start. Okay, I think that's pretty good for the cork. Those few steps had a little bit of a space, so. Have a look. It's definitely messy, and I'm glad I didn't paint yet. Okay. <laughs> because it's getting all over the wall. It is? Yeah. How is the color? It's good. Off. Well, 
What did you do? How many coats did you do? Just one. Oh. And you just wipe it. It's very messy, so I'm glad I didn't uh -huh. see it first. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's gonna look good. If it all comes together, everyone will see. It's gonna look nice. Okay, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna shut it down, let it dry, and then polyurethane is next, and then paint. All right, so everything is dried up, and I'm gonna put a nice clear coat of polyurethane on. I bought a uh, satin polyurethane. Okay, so that's the first coat of polyurethane. We'll let that dry and I'll do a second coat. We'll probably have to do like a very light sanding on top of it so the next coat sticks. Probably use maybe like a 200 grit or a, something super fine just to rough it up once it dries. And I used a foam brush and the varathane polyurethane. I'll show you what it looks like. I use these foam brushes and the polyurethane. All right, guys, I'm putting a second coating on the steps of uh, polyurethane. And what you have to do is use 220 grit, 220 grit sandpaper, and just lightly scuff it um, on top of that first layer so that the second layer will stick to it good. Um, I'm not going to bore you with that. I'm going to just get it all done. So we can get to the painting. So 220 grit, second coat of polyurethane, and we'll go from there. Okay, so you would sand it down with the 220, use a cloth, wipe off the uh, sawdust or the, uh, the dust from the polyurethane that you just sanded so it doesn't get into your brush and back into it. And then just coat them again. And then we'll wait for tomorrow when it's dry and we'll start painting. As you can see, I did all the other steps going up. I didn't want to have to record it all. And I'm just showing you the last three. When you do it, go with the grain and go long strokes across the whole step. That way you don't get any brush marks and it'll be nice and smooth. All right, guys, that was the second coat of polyurethane. I said 220 grit, very lightly scuff it down, put on your uh, second coat. I laced it on nice and thick. You can almost see like a white cloud to it and that'll clear up as it dries. And I'll show you what it looks like. It came out pretty good for an old set of steps. I mean, remember these steps are from like 1938, 1939, this house. So these are original steps that's, they've been covered up for years. And we're going to try to bring them back to life. All right, guys, I'm going to start painting. I got my purdy brush here. <clears throat> and I got some uh, white satin paint. Some leftover from some doors that I painted. So I didn't have to buy any. Hopefully it's enough. And uh, I'll start heading down the stairs. Let's see what she looks like. It's going to be a very tedious job painting around these steps, so I'll have to put you guys on fast motion.
All right, guys, I'm about halfway there. Got, what, like seven done, six left. It's a little tedious, like I said. I let the camera shut off for a little while, and uh, I'm trying to get this done. It's going to need a second coat. Okay, I'm going to get back to it. All right, guys, that's the first coat. I will be doing another coat, but I won't video it, because... Who wants to watch paint dry but big difference from when it had the rug on it looking good that's the staircase with one coat of white on it not so bad big difference from the rug all right so thanks for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you like what you see and uh, i'll see you guys next time Dirty ball. <laughs> it's only one dirty ball. <laughs> Shit, you should shut the bedroom door, no? Why well, you don't want to clean the dust? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Like, who would want to? Uh, probably go underneath anyway. What's the difference? Oh, there's peeling in here. Come on, what's the matter? You don't like my balls? You don't like this ball here? I don't like a dirty ball. <laughs> We're gonna take oh, off this ball because everyone grabs it and it's all oh. always dirty. So everybody doesn't like Do the dirty ball. Okay. So what did you say? Al? You don't like the dirty ball? No. Did you ever see that commercial? Dirty ball, no good. I think another piece is like a block of wood on top of it. No, no more wood. No? I'm going to fill the hole. Right. What do you want to do? Make an Eiffel Tower out of it? It's just, a, it's just flat. That's how it should be. It's going to stick out too much. I think you should cut that from the film because you sound a little nasty. Cut that? What? <coughs> what you just said. <coughs> What do you want? What do you want? The Eiffel Tower? <laughs> Might as well put the ball back there. Then people are just going to grab that. You're going to grab it. It's going to get dirty. It's like some oil on your hands. You get balls, they get dirty. Yeah. Right. There it is. Ballless. <laughs> no balls. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try to keep it a family channel. We remove the balls. What are you doing? Hmm. You're gonna save the ball. You're not throwing the dirty ball out. You put the dirty ball in there. There's the garbage. Throw the dirty ball out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't try to be funny talking about the ball. It's not I funny. I think, I think what? you played it out. What is that called? After you what? play something out, you talk about no, it too much. You're dragging it. You're, you're dragging, dragging it. You're dragging the ball. Yeah, but that was stop, dra that was stop dragging your balls. <laughs> <laughs> family channel. Sorry, like family channel. Family channel. Okay? <laughs> Sorry, children. Hold your ears. Stop dragging your balls. I'll have to put a disclaimer on the bloopers this time. <laughs> 18 and over bloopers. Alright. So I'm gonna shut it down and I wish I had some more sandpaper. I don't have anything thick enough. But we'll see. I think that's the only wait, what's here? No, try it. I think it's gonna be okay. I could try. It's time for a Dewclaw Sweet Baby Jesus. Chocolate peanut butter porter beer. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, that's good. I gotta find more of these. Gotta try it. If you're a beer drinker, sweet baby Jesus. Why do you have that on? <laughs> Such an 
asshole. <laughs> Come on, Greta Garbo. Come on, there's dust everywhere. Get your clothes and get out of the way. This is not what I signed up for. Oh my god, put it all. That's good for now. Okay. Get back to work. <laughs> you got it? Get the camera off me. Did you want to hear anything again? Not to lean on the step. <laughs> this isn't funny. Why didn't you put something down? If this was me, you know what you would say? What would I say? Good? Yeah. You say, what are you doing, asshole? Oh, wait, no, I'll call you an asshole. Ball breaker, yes. Asshole, no. Oh, 